Man, Drake driving to the store to get the, he's driving to the store to get the pre-order right now. He on his way. All right, let's see what this takeover meter is hitting for though. Takeover returns to NBA 2K24, but with a different spin. Instead of assigning the takeover ability as part of the build process, now you can choose a category of attributes to boost on the fly. When you fill up the takeover meter, you can choose between finishing, shooting, playmaking, defense rebounding, Wait, or physicals. Wait, what? If you delay the fly. Did you? When you fill up did you hear what this man just said? I think they revolutionized this takeover. The takeover meter, you can choose between finishing, shooting, playmaking, defense rebounding, or physicals. If you delay your takeover and fill up double takeover, you can choose two different categories of ratings to boost, making you a true threat on both ends of the floor. I can choose my takeover on court after I fill up the meter? That's about to be, that's about to revolutionize the game. The game just changed, bruh. We up, we up right now, bruh. Everything about offense, defense, and coaching has been streamlined to make NBA 2K24 more enjoyable for all. We can't wait for you to experience the ultra-realistic gameplay in NBA. But wait a minute, this man just said we can fill up the takeover meter. Spin. Instead of assigning a takeover ability as part of the build process, now you can choose a category of attributes to boost on the fly. When you fill up the takeover meter, you can choose- Do you know how crazy that is about to be? You know how crazy that's about to go for 24, bro? So our takeover is no longer attached to our player build, but we can choose what we want to excel in after we fill up the meter. That is about to revolutionize what kind of bag you can pull off during games. I mean, you're, you're not going to know what kind of, you don't have a takeover anymore assigned, bruh. Look how Drake is looking at this situation. He is disgusted. He is disgusted. He is he is ready to get on the court and fill up the takeover meter right now and pick which one right then and there. And man, look, the game didn't change, bro. If you Timmy, hey Timmy, I don't know what to tell you at this point. What I can tell you though, Tim Tim, it's present throughout the game for new gen consoles. If you don't got a new gen console, look Timmy, go ask Granny for Christmas to get you that new gen console. Go ask Pop Pop. Ask moms, ask pops, ask them to pull it together, get the money together. Look, you can ask moms, you can ask pops, you can ask pop, pop, and mama, maybe even auntie or something. If you got that rich uncle, look, ask him for $100 a piece. Ask him to come together and get you that PlayStation. I would tell you to get the Xbox, but PlayStation players say that they have the advantage. I have no clue, but I would be on the safe bet. Safe bet for you, Timmy. Look, Tim Tim, listen to me. Listen to Unc. Go ask them to pull their money together and get the game for you. Get the console so you can be first up with your VC. Ready to get your player together when I drop the best build video in the game for you, Tim. Or Jim. Or whoever. Whoever you are that's listening right now. You have to. You have to get it together now. It's time. Time, bro. It is time. All right, man. Be quiet while Drake drive us to the store. Let Mike break down this skill-based defense for y'all. Defensive movement has improved on many fronts with better responsiveness and less sliding. This helps defenders get where they need to be, and with the improved body-up system, ball handlers will have a tough time getting free against great defenders. Less sliding is a key frame for me. We're going to key frame that one and zoom in on it because less sliding is exactly what we have been asking for. It's what we needed too. We needed a little more stickiness to the floor, a little bit more connectiveness to our the person we're defending. And I love to hear that. I'm loving to hear a little less sliding. That's I'm keying in on that. The improved contact can also be felt in the paint. Big defensive anchors will have a much easier time putting a body on shooters at the rim and forcing tough shots. Directional steals are also back. You need to reach with the correct hand closest to the ball and avoid reaching across the body to maximize success and avoid foul calls. Okay, it's getting a little more, we're getting a little more intricate on defense. You can also use directional steals to play passing lanes by flicking the right stick in the correct direction to get your hand in the way and deflect the pass. And when it comes to- Okay, that, I believe that was in the game before. It was just like a hidden feature. Them, them right stick passing lane steals, but it's going- we're going to we're going to have to really get into 2KU and break down some of these situations situation by situation. Just to contesting shots, it's important to be patient and wait for the correct time to jump. They've streamlined this situation for us to make the game way more enjoyable. What more can you ask for? Moving ahead. Coaching. 
Coach with ease. Don't tell me they revolutionized coaching too. Play is back, making play calling more accessible for everybody. As you bring the ball up court, an overlay will come up recommending the best play and player for that possession. All right. Tap L1 or the left bumper before crossing half court to run it. And to call your favorite plays, press the directional pad to the left and choose from up to 16 of your preferred actions. You can call anything from full plays to ISOs and give and goes. I'm so excited I can't even get this out of NBA 2K24 gameplay enhancements. The new era of authenticity has arrived in NBA 2K24 next gen. This is today, the day today. You see the date, you see what it is. Let's get into this gameplay. Pro play. 2K24 powered by Pro Play. Look how crispy this looks. These boys are moving and grooving. They are getting buckets. That's real life. That's real life. That's IRL footage. There we go. Yeah, they didn't spare no expenses. You saw it. You see it. Okay, let's. Okay. Hey, I can't even tell the difference. I can't even tell the difference. I can't even tell you the difference. Is this real life? Is that in-game footage? Is that IRL or in-game? Which one is that? You tell me in the comments, which one is that? Is that IRL? Oh, hey, I, it was worth the wait. Pooley, splashdown. It was worth the wait at this point. It was worth the wait, bruh. I don't know if I'm get. I don't know if this gets yellow marked for this music. Most likely gets yellow marked. Yeah, if it's us versus them, who you think gonna win? Who you think gonna win? Ah, ah. Aaron Gordon get above the rim. You see, you see it. You see what's going on here. The court. We are on the court. Go. If you ain't pre-ordered the game, go pre-order it now. Go get that 12-month league pass. The next generation of groundbreaking realism and authenticity arrives in NBA 2K24 on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series XS consoles via pro play technology trademark check out the latest from nba 2k's gameplay director mike wong to get a glimpse of what's to come each year 2k takes a step forward in delivering first class results using motion capture but pro play pro propels the franchise even further with cutting edge technology to directly translate movements from real nba games into nba 2k24 gameplay marking a historic achievement in sports gaming we've directed athletes for 20 years on how to recreate their signature moves in mocap but now we can provide the truest forms of contested step backs acrobatic layups and more by translating actual nba footage i knew it i told you y'all was running around here talking about y'all was running around here talking about oh it's Oh, it's going to be this. It's going to be that. It's going to be. They was laughing at y'all 2K. I had faith in you the whole time. I knew that when you dropped this courtside report and I was able to read and react that it would be exactly what I thought it was. It would be the new way to motion capture. You can dig back in the files. In my previous videos, I told you this would be the new way to mocap on court, in-house, real NBA footage real time motion capturing so we don't have to take y'all out of y'all environment we can get the real moves from you on court as you pull them off i can be who i want to be now i can look this is about to change the game this is about to unlock a whole new man i'm i'm lost for words right now i'm lost for words this gameplay trailer is crazy you saw it go back and see it again go go back rewind this video and go back and see it again look at the footage you see it you see it this year you'll see and feel the difference in shots free throws off ball defense off ball offense and defense man look how drake is looking at y'all he cannot believe what's the difference if you've ever imagined and practiced hitting a contested shot over the hands of an invisible defender on the blacktop in your driveway or in the gym, you know it's simply not the same as experiencing it in a real game. 
And that's essentially the difference between mocap and pro play. I told you, mocap has excelled at getting NBA 2K to this point, bringing players closer to the NBA action than ever before and will continue to serve an important role. But pro play swaps the unnatural technology for peak performance in a natural and intense environment. The shots, motion, anytime the player is moving off ball around the court, dribbling, rebounds, blocks, passes, free throws, feel different in NBA 2K24 New Gen because they've been captured in real time scenarios. Previous iterations of NBA 2K have featured a variety of dribble packages and unique jump shots, but capturing and contorting athletic layups under the basket or an ankle breaking step back to create separation from a lockdown defender in a pivotal moment of a game hasn't been possible to this degree. Knowing how to operate away from the ball is just as important. NBA 2K24 features new right analog stick jukes and other quick explosive moves to free yourself up for a shot. Tapping the sprint trigger will also give you a huge burst of speed to find open spots on the floor for spot up jumpers or easy rim runs for dunks. One of my favorite elements in NBA 2K24 is the dribble breakdowns. Each player has two versions. Regular breakdowns are done by flicking up on the right analog stick and aggressive right. breakdowns are done by flicking up with sprint held. This will initiate a sequence of signature size up moves that you can use to create separation with on their own or branch out of at any time for an explosive drive or other double move combo. This year features all new signature double crosses, hezi crosses, and escape moves. That's gonna be cold blooded. What I wanna what I wanna go into is are the dribble moves gonna be broken down into separate packages where I can take pieces from each player's bag and mix them together? Or will there be set bags that I will just have to pick up a bag that pick up Steph Curry's bag and now we're gone. So so that's going to be the interesting part. That's what I want to see him break down. Hopefully we have an answer for that, but if not, that is my question going forward when they have an open form. Another major addition is the blowout dribble. Tapping the sprint trigger while moving will give you a quick burst of speed where the ball handler pushes the ball ahead to get out quickly on the break. In the front court, tapping sprint will give you a quick change of pace to quickly blow by defenders. Adrenaline boosts are back, but have been redesigned to make both offense and defense more skill-based. On offense, boosts are no longer lost when pulling off dribble combos or moving short distances. This gives dribblers much more freedom to create off the bounce. But boosts will disappear every time the on-ball defender can bump the ball handler on a drive attempt. Losing adrenaline won't feel like moving in mud like last year, but it will heavily impact shooting attributes. So if a good defender can bump the dribbler two or three times in a single possession, they'll have a really tough time scoring. That's a beautiful advancement. I'm, I'm loving it so far, knowing that if I get bumpy enough and I bump the ball handler enough times, I can make it hard for him to score. That's all we've been asking for. That is really all we as as a defender. That is all you can ask for. Intuitive offense. NBA 2K24 shooting and dunking. Look how Drake looking at y'all. He can't believe y'all right now. You you didn't have the wherewithal to understand what was upon us. This is revolutionary right now. Let's listen to Mike bring it in. Players who play on Hall of Fame or comp online games will be playing with green or miss shot timing for the ultimate challenge. Green or miss? But team control modes will see more forgiving shot timing so you won't have to memorize every single player's release to the exact frame to find success. That's clutch. That's clutch out here. Good separation so we can still be comp. But for my team and for my NBA and all that, we can still represent. Advanced layups like floaters, reverses, euros, hop steps, and scoops are much more effective this year. And I'd encourage everyone to try out layup timing. It's much more forgiving for high percentage layups and also gives you the ability to finish tough circus layups in traffic if you can master it. All right, so you heard him, you heard him say layup timing. He's encouraging y'all to use that layup timing next year. In 24, he's encouraging layup time. I'm gonna try it out. For dunkers in new gen, you can now force rim hangs from any two hand dunk by simply keeping the sprint trigger held when the dunker grabs the rim. Down on the pro stick will give you flashy dunks and up down or down up double throws will let you attempt contact dunks in traffic. You can now branch out of any offensive rebound to a putback attempt by simply pressing the shot button after the catch. Post fades and hop shots are also really effective shots for post players, and you can definitely feel the impact of strength and weight as bigger players easily dominate weaker ones on the glass. It's gonna take it's gonna take some study to get that down with that for you dunk heads, for you for you at the rim guys. It's gonna take just a little bit of study, but if you study it right, I'm pretty sure 
you go to 2ku sit in 2ku for a little minute you're gonna have the power you're gonna have the power up in there everything about offense defense and coaching has been streamlined to make nba 2k24 more enjoyable for all we can't wait for you to experience the ultra realistic gameplay in nba 2k24 Hey, I appreciate you, Mike. Thank you for that breakdown. We will see you on the court. That is what we will do. And But I really do appreciate the breakdown. I appreciate this gameplay. And the game has been revolutionized. Pro Play technology is only available on new-gen consoles. You may not have heard it here first, but you heard it here for sure. Hey, like and subscribe to this channel. And we bringing you everything you're going to need to know as soon as you need to know it. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.